That's right. It is that time again, I think. Time to strike in this land the fear of bears. Welcome back to Side Quest. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's the only response I can think of that might strike fear into the hearts of my enemies in this very, very scary place. It might be literally the only way if you think about it. People need dramatic examples to shake them out of their frenzy. And I can't do that as Elden Lord. As a Dan, I am flesh and blood. I can be ignored, destroyed. But as a symbol, as a symbol, I can become incorruptible. It is time once more to attempt becoming the bear. Get out of here, goats. And this time, this time, I've got my bear incantations. The set was not complete before. Now, we are properly ready. For bear warfare. I'd say war bear for the portmanteau, but that just sounds like something else. Clear out rats. This is, once again, not the best tool for fighting clusters of enemies. Individuals, though, real good. Also just feels good. Sometimes the only way... Ooh, nice. Sometimes the only way to shake your own fear of a place and a thing is to try feeling scary yourself. So what was that? A record of crafting techniques left by a craftsman who served Midra, master of the manse, and Nanaya, its lady. His eyes were burned by the flame of frenzy. I can make frenzied flame pots and roped frenzied flame pots. I don't know if I want to is the thing. Apparently frenzy is better for PvE than I was giving it credit for. It's not just a PvP tool. I'm not clear on the specifics. And I don't think it's really the sort of build strategy I'm wanting to work toward here. But it is good to know. So that I'm not just completely ruling out the possibility. Should still probably use some light. It is a little dark here. So... Taking stock of things, we have... Actually covered quite a lot of this. There's probably a lot of this kind of northern stretch that we've not done. Because, like, I've mostly came here through this way, basically. To get across over here. And that involved several kinds of stealth. I'm guessing if there's a route this way, similar stealth challenges involved. We've not come down here yet, though, so I guess south ways is now the thing to do. And I'm seeing more whatever they are up there. I'm just going to call them lanterns for lack of a better term for now. And I want nothing to do with that, so, um... 
Let's go somewhere else. Whichever direction allows for a southward path. And at the moment, I'm not sure what does. It's kind of weird, like, we found a grace fire here, and that's great and all, but I feel like kind of expected to find more in this corner of the area. I didn't go up there yet. I should go up there. That's probably why. I bet there's something up there. Okay. This is not a good way to fight a large rat, I'm almost certain, but, um... Well, I say that, but, um... Those big swipes did do a lot. Maybe I just need to learn how to better use my kit of tools. It's another big rat. Okay. Another big rat. Okay. I'm sensing a theme to this corner. Whiff. Goodness. Feels good. Those big swipes. Should probably top off if I'm going to be getting... ...flask refills from killing these things. I see you there, Sneaky. Come on. There we go. Yeah, y'all aren't so bad. At least individually. Multiples, more of an issue. So what's this leading to? It really is spooky seeing all the wildlife having this frenzy effect. Unsettling. Hmm. Might as well drop down, I guess. I'm not seeing any further up to go. And I don't really know where this is going to help me reach, but... Worth investigating, I suppose. Really don't want to drop down there, that's for darn sure. Like, I could do ranged attacks from here, but to what end, kind of feels like. Did that one see me? It totally did. What are you doing? Probably trying to, like, teleport at me. I sure don't appreciate it. Why exactly would I want to go here? This place is terrible. It does answer my question, though. Yeah, like, the northern route, such as it is around here, definitely also hostile. Really don't want to drop down there, but I am, I guess, a little curious. And we have a grace fire we can warp back to very easily. If I decide I've explored enough. 
So let's wait for it to turn around. Okay. All good. Good and fine and good. Bear stealth. I must strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. Whatever the heck they are. Because I tried striking damage into them and it didn't work. This is kind of my only plan B. The B stands for bear. This seems like nothing. This seems like just another fine choice for trying to sneak past these things to get to a similar place. I don't really feel like doing both just for kicks. No. No, I think I think I'm going to go back, thank you, to here and find some other way to go south from here, which is not this. I mean, let's be reasonable. This looks like a southerly direction worth pursuing. It's basically where we came from. Yeah. Nothing for it. Charge! Bear attack! Look out, there's bears in these woods! And they're here to steal your picnics. So, okay. I don't think we're in stealth zone here quite yet. Can sneak up on this one. Aha! I am the knight. But in a bear way. Haha! -ha. This is working. I choose to think. It's also so dark. How does Batman do it? So we're here, okay. This direction feels like if there's a destination we're working toward, it's gotta be this way. We're running out of other directions. Yeah. Okay. You're fine. You're not. 
the scariest variety. Although you... You've got the same body for it. So, like, now the Winter Lanterns, whatever they're called, like, they are clearly these Inquisitors fully frenzied out. Fully succumbed. They got the same posture. They got the same build. They've even got the staff, really. Just replace their head with a big Halloween nightmare, and that's basically it. And I'm not getting into the middle of that. Because now that I have made that connection, I don't trust that one's not going to turn into the other. And I want no part of it. Not so bad, not so bad. Something going on down there. That merits investigating. I hate to say it, but yep. Gonna have to get closer and see what's going on over there. What? Oh. Just a weirdly bright bird. And, ooh, okay. I only just realized we found a place. A very scary place. So we have desiccated, decapitated corpses with this glowing thing, which I want to call a, like, finger given just the theme and the frenzy and stuff like that, but, uh, this seems like a bit of a warning. Yeah, just like using the bodies of your enemies displayed out front to scare anyone who'd come for you. Well, this is going to be a bad time. Make a compelling argument. Are you the ghost or are you someone up there? I cannot tell. Oh, hello. What do we have over here? Ooh. Swollen grape. That's new. Crafting item, very rare. An eyeball of the frenzied flame that has swollen from within. Exceedingly rare to find. Marked with fingerprint burns, proof of having been touched directly by the three fingers embrace. Good, good, good. Good times ahead. Fun, fun, fun for everyone. Midra's Mance.
Is it cool if I use this? I'm gonna use this. I have to say, I'm very nervous being here. Um. Well, that looks lovely. Um, when did it stop looking like this? Can I? Hang on. Aha. Well. Guess I know where I'll be heading in a moment. So, um... Hello. I welcome you, oh uninvited guest. But must I warn, as you venture in, heed the words of our great master, Midra. Approach not the madness, lest ye succumb. Noted, and good ghost advice, thank you. So, uh, doesn't open from this side, so really the only way to proceed is this. Goodness gracious. The way of the bear may have gotten us in here. I do not know if it's going to prove the best tactic for survival within. Torn diary page. Y'all gonna let me read? Okay. A discarded page ripped from a diary, bearing a passage written in a tremulous hand. I touched him, but only once. When he thrust his staff in my face, I brushed it aside. It was then that I touched him. The aging untouchable. Oh, we're getting into the spooky times. What was that, by the way? Oh, didn't realize we had patrols going on. Are you the untouchable? We're gonna figure out real quick. Yeah, do God's poise. I'll give you that. And you don't bleed very easily. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was really hoping you ghosts were gonna be chill. Seems no. At least not everyone's being all frenzy all the time out here, though, and that's nice. I'm sure there will be no shortage of the frenzy hereabouts, but... Nice that it's not all the time. Well... The heck? Boy, the food has gone bad. Ah. Someone throwing these things down here, hey. Excuse me. One at a time, if you all don't mind. It'd be a lot easier for me. Uh-huh. Okie dokie, okie dokie. That didn't go how I thought. Yeesh. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Bear strats are not going to work super well against those guys. Although I am going to stick with it for just long enough to try a thing. 
Talisman effects have prevented you. Oh, right, I still had that equipped. Well, that's nice. Um, let's go back to... You know what? Let's go back to... I was going to say this, but actually this. For the current thing that I feel like doing. I love that it wasn't until coming in here that... I guess a ghost... Patrol... No, there you are. I guess you just... Were patrolling this hallway and I hadn't noticed you earlier. How do you get... Oh, okay, you climb up. I see. Okay. Let's, uh... Use the toy. Or try. Yo. <laughs> that doesn't even cost very much. That's pretty phenomenal. Another of these. How does it do against the larger ones, I wonder? If I were to sneak up behind you and startle you with a very loud yell. Wait for it. Gotcha! Ah, dang. Yeah. You got too much HP for that nonsense. Could use a little more health than I got. Yeah. Yeah, goodness. That's a cool move. Yeah, we need bigger, beefier weapons to cause you problems. Yeah, goodness. The range. That used way too much. Let's just... <laughs> We're down to four flasks. Let's just, uh... Let, let me figure out a different build for this. Now that we're inside. Bear strats have served us well, but let's, um... <laughs> let's find compromise. Here we go. The midpoint between. <laughs> we will keep our roar incantation. We will keep our bear hat. And I won't even use the big great sword with the cool explosion. I want to use that. But it's just too heavy to use with this stuff while also having Milady also equipped as a backup. Okay. And then it all goes off around you. It's pretty cool. Ow. Goodness gracious. The range. Stop. Feels like there's got to be a better strat for fighting you guys. I'll find it eventually. C 
could be that attempting some... All right, you know what? Here, we'll just go with big sword and... Oh, that's still heavy load. Wow. It's just a darn heavy sword. That's fine. We can still make use of our very good bear shouts. Clear out, nerds. Bear says leave. Buzz off. It's a pretty good incantation, honestly. Just an AoE surrounding your immediate area. Doing pretty solid damage. What if... It's gonna get caught up on something, but we can try! It's alright, damage. Just risky to keep trying. There we go. Good for softening them up first, though. Reducing the amount of time you gotta be in melee combat. Anyway, we're finally back to this. Excuse me. I feel like this place could be filled with little secret passages. In fact, I have a suspicion they are filled with secret passages. And this might open such a thing. Yeah, I wondered if this was going to move on those little tracks. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't trust this location. Is that where I was before? Pretty sure, yes. What's the good news, ghost? I beg you, stop. Haven't I taken enough? Are we not brethren, common in our line? And yet, you offer only cruelty. I ask, what crime did Great Midra commit? I don't know for sure, but it really feels like, just from looking at their manse, If they got up to something. Or someone else has really been getting up to something. Since taking over. Come on. Let me through. Surging Frenzied Flame, eh? Spirit Grave Stone burned by Frenzied Flame. Uses FP to place a stone on the ground where it spews Frenzied Flames. Spirits are eternal, and yet Frenzied Flame melts them away regardless. No wonder the horn scent forbid the flame's use. Yeah, I can't blame him.
I am not a huge fan. Of what that flame gets up to myself. This feels dangerous, and someone's gonna start throwing the frenzy rocks at me up here, and I will resent them for doing so. I see a grace fire, but that is bait. I really want to see what's in there too, but I am falling for the bait. One thing at a time. Um. Not sure what's going on over there, and I'm fine waiting to find out. How are we doing? Hmm. Yeah, we can go ahead and rest. Any of the places I want to go back to, I had not cleared out the enemies anyway. Okay, careful jumps. Okay. Real dark. Very rats. Now don't fall off. Now I'm down here. Well, that's not what anyone wanted. Here we are. Let's try that again. Maybe... Yeah, let's open with ranged options, hmm? Smart creatures, rats. Can you not come over here? Kind of surprised. And grateful. Okay, that's not gonna last. Whew. Boing. Way too dark in here, rats. Turn on a light. Shut ins. Let in some fresh air. You're gonna get mauled. Come on. Okay. Hey. Another cookbook. All right, that everybody? Awesome. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So what does this cookbook let us make? Wrong button. Uh, surging frenzied flame. Okay. I have a suspicion the boss in here, whoever they are, is gonna be rough.
Okay. I didn't even notice you over there. Okay, we got a... Ladder down. Good, good, good. But first... A little bit of a jump, but we can make that, I think. Boing! There we go. Yeah, no problem. I want that too. Do I want to jump down yet? Maybe not. Boing! Not sure. No. No. We're going to need to move a... Yeah, we're going to need to move a shelf, and then maybe. Then maybe. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one like was summoned in the boss fight earlier this week. I bet I could snipe you from here. You like Frisbee? Who doesn't like Frisbee? Boing! Hmm. Don't think I'm gonna get an angle on anyone from up here. Haha! -ha! Didn't quite work as planned, but... Let's... Ah! Act like it was on purpose. Pretty burned in here. Which is, I guess, the Inquisitor's doing. That's why all the... Inquisitors and... Horn scent warriors are in here purging the place. And why the ghosts are requesting mercy and whatnot. Yep. Thanks for sneaking badly. Okay. So here, I'm guessing, we have. Midra, and... What's her name? Nanaya. Aha! I didn't think that was going to work. But first, I suspect... Back to the entrance. Yeah! Fantastic. Is there a switch down here that I can find which is going to move the bookcase? I'm guessing no. I'm guessing I'm going to need to take that route I just found. And that's going to lead to a switch that moves things. Yep. That feels right. Okay. So far, so good. There we go. I'm guessing that'll move at the very least. Yeah, there we go. That 
That's what I like to see. So based on what we're seeing here, and based on the trend we've seen in the lands between... All these guys are here. The Inquisitors are here. Because they knew the Frenzy was here. And they're here to put a stop to it. Or to try to. Seems like plenty of them kind of got corrupted along the way. Or maybe they're using the Frenzy. Heck, who knows. But... In the Lands Between, I got the sense that the... Wandering Merchants... Weren't, like, wielding the Frenzy willy-nilly, and that's why they were persecuted. I kind of get the sense that the Frenzy is something that found them... Once, they, once persecution was already happening. It seems to... Find people when they're at their lowest and most desperate and pained. That's what happens to... Is it Edward, was it? That guy down in... Goodness, it was so long ago. Down in Castle Morn, Master of Castle Morn, whose daughter asks us to go and... Uh, Make him abandon the castle. He refuses, goes later and finds his daughter deceased. And then later, up in Rio Lucaria, he invades us and, and is like using frenzy and has signs of other frenzy things. Like, in his loss and grief, the frenzy took him. And then his daughter, I still hold basically her body, like, is claimed to become. Hayata? Hayata? I can't remember how her name is pronounced. The blind finger maiden uh, who we feed grapes to on her way, on her journey up here toward joining the three fingers down below. Just because she looks identical. <laughs> it's... It's a little ambiguous. But I'm kind of one of those who tends to believe if, like, all signs point in one direction, or that seems like the most obvious answer to the question. I'm comfortable leaning that way, even if there is, like, a stray piece of data here or there that seems to suggest otherwise. I think there's, like, at least at one point, it was possible to both... To meet Hayata with that, uh, with the daughter's corpse still visible in the world somewhere, so that like, she was effectively in two places at once. That's something that I can explain away as being just sort of a bit of a bug with how the questing works, because everything else points in the other direction. Nanaya's torch. So that's you, then. Let's read. A torch made by attaching a dying flame of frenzy to a small spinal column. In a distant land, in an age long past, was born a man who failed to become the lord of frenzied flame. All that remains of him is cradled gently by Nanaya. Unique skill is feeble lord's frenzied flame. Hold torch out in front and spit out frenzied flame. Afflicts those caught in its area of effect with madness, along with the user themselves. The skill will continue for as long as the buttons held down can be used while moving. Neat. And now, this. I don't know the best strategy for this, but this is what we're doing. Goodness. What a wild enemy. Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Yeah. Hey, you're a weird spirit ash. Don't get those from enemy drops too often.
Just to make sure there's not a shiny or something down here. Nah. There is you, though. And now there isn't. Awesome. Back upstairs. Feel like we're getting kind of toward the end of this place. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Good little sneak attacks y'all have going. Good ambush. This place is a mess. All right. This isn't one I found earlier, is it? No, this is new. I was gonna say. Well, there's definitely a little more here, at least, and almost certainly a boss. Heck, maybe there's a lot more, I don't know. But let's, um, let's find out about that tomorrow. Goodness, I too am a mess. Everything's a mess here. Take care, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow for some more of this. Goodbye!